Hello friends and welcome to Storytime with the Houston Public Library. I'm Biz Crystal and today we're going to be reading a story called Dragon's Rule, Princess's Drool. It was written and illustrated by Courtney Pippin Mather and we'd like to thank Simon and Schuster for giving us permission to read this to you today. Let's begin. Once there was a dragon. He was fierce. He was strong. His land was dark, rocky, and magnificent. Dragon smoke curled through the trees and flames blasted into the sky, frightening everyone who came near. Well, almost everyone. One day, two dangerous creatures invaded his kingdom. Hmm. I'm not sure they look so dangerous if they're princesses. At least not these two. He did not trust them. I don't know that the other dragons feel that way. They're, looks like they're already playing with the princesses. They wore puffy dresses with ruffles and they pranced. They even played with the dragon's food. Still, she tried to teach them the dragon ways. Hmm, so here are the dragon rules. Eat, burp, flame. But they refused to learn. Here he is trying to teach them how to eat dragon peppers. They're not interested. Ugh. He's trying to teach them how to burp and they just think that's disgusting. And then he's teaching them how to flame. All they want to do is try to put out the flame with water. They were changing the land. Look, this is their dragon pepper field, and they're filling it with flowers. Hmm. And worse, they were changing his fellow fierce dragons. Finery had replaced flames. Cute had replaced ferocious. The dragon had reached his boiling point. Oh. Look, they're wearing puffy dresses and having tea parties. He must defend his kingdom. Only he could stop the pastel pests before it was too late. There were always nightly creatures searching for adventure and excitement in the dark forest. Perhaps he would find one to remove the royal pains. Hmm. Looks like he may have spotted one resting in a hammock. Hmm. Maybe he can help. So... The dragon invited the knight to rescue the princesses and return them to their castle. Oh, do you see this? Hmm, the knight has something in his hand that says, Yield Dragon Net. Hmm, wonder what he's planning with that. No more pink and puffy. Ruffles would be banished forever. But. The knight netted his fellow fierce dragons instead. Ah, uh, oh no. What's he gonna do? With nowhere else to turn, the dragon flew to the princesses for help. Hmm. Meanwhile, they're having a tea party with the little animals of the forest. They planned, they snacked, and they sneaked. So, what do you think their plan is? Hmm. Notice, it looks like when, for their snacks, they're eating all those dragon peppers. Everyone is. Hmm. Let's see what their plan is. Then softly and delicately, they let out a burp. Oh, and all the flaming fire that they were able to spew out scared the night away. <gasps> now their land is dark, rocky, and colorful. Their flowers curl around their trees and their flames blast into the sky. They are fierce, they are strong, they are friends. Oh, look at this. Isn't it wonderful? The two could be together now with both of the things they like. And they ran off the knight who created nothing but trouble. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us for story time today. See you next time. Bye.